try to copy that. Welcome to the LG Show Show, everybody. I'm your host, Jay's Ways. We're going to start off with the polls as usual, but someone thought that, thought that they were uh, somewhat controversial. Uh, these are not controversial. They may be pushing the understanding of humanity. They definitely are in that aspect, uh, but it's usually the pioneers that are not appreciated as much as everyone else. So starting out, and, and, these are, and some of them can be very, very educational. So starting out with the first one, which is surely educational, we polled. And the question was, 7 plus 6 is 12, or 7 plus 6 are 12? Uh, the answers were is received zero votes, R so received one vote, 7 plus 6, R 13 received two votes, and none of the above, which received eight votes. Uh, it's none of the above is the answer because 7 plus 6 is 13. That was not one of the answers. Moving on to the next poll. What's worse, being crushed by a refrigerator received one vote, dropping games received six votes, and damn Daniel bullshit mine nonsense they deserve to be crushed by refrigerator. Also received six votes, so that's a tie. Going on to our last poll of the episode is, has bloke gone too far? The Earth is 6,000 years old, has received three votes. Bush did 9-11, received four votes. And jet fuel can't melt paper, received 11 votes. Uh, that's pretty much confirmed. Moving on, uh, Jay Money posted something in the CHL chat. It's a, a easier way to get into CHL development games. If you're on TC and you can't break through to the team, this is a great way to do it. Um, uh, GMs or management from teams watch these games, uh, and if they watch, if you're on their team, they watch you. You play well, they might give you a call up to the to the main roster. So it's a great way to get into the game or on, onto your team or into games as well. If you can't seem to to break the lineup. just business. Moving on, the LGFA had a really big and controversial week this week. It uh, kind of culminated on Monday because a lot of the teams, at that point, at least five or six teams were not showing up for games. Uh, one team hadn't showed up for games in about a week. Uh, now, a lot of people got mad at Bryson for not doing anything, uh, but he did a lot that, that night for sure. That night alone, he got new management for three of those teams. Uh, the problem with LGFA that happened in the past, as far as what people have told me, I wasn't in the league, is that uh, people really didn't give a shit, they had other, other uh, FIFA leagues, they didn't care about this one, and it kind of died out. Uh, it looks to be going in that direction, but after this week, pretty productive week, hopefully the LGFA will not die out and there will be a second season. Uh, not season two, but another season after this one. A pretty similar story is going on in the Rocket League right now. Uh, I am on one of the few put together teams, randomly assigned teams that actually has management. Uh, we've played every game this week, uh, but I can tell you firsthand, at, you know, most nights we have two games, we only play one of those games because a lot of the teams don't show up. Shockingly, uh, the teams that were put together by a group of friends, you know, before the, before the league started out with these randomly assigned teams, it was only teams that uh, people put together themselves. And a lot of those put together teams themselves are not showing up for games. It's a bit of a problem. Uh, it's not as much, it's not that many teams, it's like four or five that just don't show up for games and that can be fixed. Either they aren't in the league anymore or they get new management and start playing. Uh, hopefully that gets fixed and I can update you guys on that next week. Quick side note here, uh, if you want to not work for anything in your life and, and just get shit for free and you want a free lunch with extra mayo, vote for Sanders. Uh, kind of a uh, shameless plug right now, I'm doing a Make Media Great Again campaign. If you're interested in media uh, or are in media and don't really know how to edit very well, <coughs> Doc House, but there is hope for you. There is hope, okay? I'm gonna do uh, several uh, tutorial videos about how to, to how to use editing software uh, from Sony Vegas 13 to Photoshop. That's really all I use. I can do more, I know how to use more, but those are the things I mostly use to do videos and editing. So uh, look for that. I have a first video up. It's Sony Vegas, the basics about how to edit. Literally just the basics, okay? This is just the most simple stuff I can do. I can go further down. I can go very much in the detail if you'd like that. So. 
If you're interested in media or in media and you want to learn how to edit, watch those videos, ask for more, and I will do more. There continues to be a fight between Drummondville and the Wee Kings, two of the best teams in the league in the CHL at the moment, as to which team has a better record. The only analogy I could think of that is as dumb as this conversation is, is it's like two drivers racing to a red light. You guys are going to the exact same place. In fact, every team in the league is going to the exact same place, and somehow you guys are talking about getting there first. Congratulations, you played yourself. If you, once you guys win something, if you win something, then you can start having a conversation about how good you are. Since everyone makes the playoffs, it's like racing to a red light. That's really the best analogy I can think of. Uh, start the conversation when you've won something, that's all I can say. Don't ever play yourself. Don't ever play yourself. Don't ever play yourself. Don't ever play yourself. Congratulations. You played yourself. Uh, so apparently now you can get banned in the CHL chat box for being salty and making a joke. I can't make any more jokes, guys, this week. I'm on parole. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, stay tuned next week for another episode. I'm not sure when that's going to be. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed Two and a half men. I watched that. Oh!